Like, this dude doesn't look confident, not because he's short, but because he's not looking confident. Like I said, he looks like dad brought little, uh, little Jimbo to, to work day. Like, he doesn't look confident because he isn't confident. Hey, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And today, what's going to be happening is, uh, from the previous video of the Black Pill community is a disappointment, I'm going to be re reacting to a video over a hundred uh, Black Pill beliefs in one video, because apparently people would like me to dive into the knowledge of the Black Pill for some reason. I don't know why you would ever do that. That just sounds like you want to poison yourself. But you know what? I'm here to, I guess, acquiesce to the general populace who thinks that their ideology is the best one out there because it's realistic or something, possibly. I don't know. I don't care. Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm going to just look at this real quick. Right. One. Looks are the most important factor for man stating success. 2. Women care about looks more than men. 3. This is mainly because women are much more selective in their mate choice. Their dating strategy can be compared to a single line fisherman trying to catch the highest quality fish. Meanwhile 4. Most men take whatever they can get. They're like sea trawlers throwing a big net into the ocean, picking up whatever. There's a lot of men out there that will pretty much go with anyone, attractive or unattractive. Five, looks is be- I, I would even wager to guess that that's your problem. May, maybe if you raised your standards, perhaps then there would be an equal amount of standards being risen, but rather we just have women raising their standards, but instead let's have men not raise their standards as well. That doesn't make sense, guys. Becoming even more important for guys now because of the explosion of online dating apps. Uh, actually, hold on. I want to really look at this. Hold on. Uh, met through friends. Uh, I'm going to suspect this graph is real. Okay, I'm just going to go off of that. Okay, uh, met through friends. It went down. Met in a bar or restaurant. Oh, that actually went up. Why would that? No, no, actually. Uh, that actually makes a lot of sense with how hedonistic the world is a lot more than it used to be. So that, that actually kind of makes sense. The, the bar part, not, I don't know about the restaurant. Uh, perhaps that's actually a restaurant portion. So I, I could be completely wrong. Uh, met through or as coworkers. Yeah, you should probably not do that one. Uh, met through family. I'm kind of worried about that line. I don't know what that means. Uh, questions. Uh, met in primary or secondary school. Yeah, those are typical relationships that don't seem to go anywhere. Uh, met in college. Uh, sure, I guess that one's terrible as well. Neighbors. All right. And uh, met in church. All right. So the only two that seem to be going up are met online and met in bar or restaurant. But please do not fret because these are still able to happen just because these t three things are so high right now doesn't mean that they're the only options of dating except for everyone is now indoors and thinking that they are the only way to date anywho six looks is also becoming more important because women are exposed to more and more options daily what's the fastest way to narrow down 100 options Easy, just get rid of anyone short, ugly, bald, and so on. 7. Any man an 8 or above in attractiveness will have the red carpet rolled out for him on online dating apps. 8. In contrast, any man... Okay, <sighs> but see, now we have to question, what does that mean? Because abundance doesn't always mean good things. You know, there's a statement of more money, more problems for a reason. There's a lot of things that are solved in the second uh, second world or third world parts of the, of the country that are solved with money. However, the term more money, more problems exists for a reason. And when you have abundance of all that you can choose, you know what happens? You gain indecision. 
because you can't decide as to who you want to be with. You could be with this girl or this girl. Ooh, but this one's an engineer. That might be a little bit useful later on in life. Ooh, but they know nursing. Ooh. Yeah, but nurses are also have a higher chance of cheating, so maybe not. Like, you, you gain a lot of indecision by being at that point. So I don't know why you're necessarily aiming to be at that point. Because if we're all at that point, or if if you get to that point, do you think you'll understand how to deal with being at that point? You have not grown up in being at that point. They have. They. Uh, that's debatably on how they're dealing with their problems, but you haven't been there. They have. It's, it's, it's not. The grass is not greener on the other side. Each side has their own dead pile of grass, okay? Carpet rolled out for him on online dating apps. 8. In contrast, any man between a 5 and 7 in attractiveness will struggle massively on online dating. Yeah, no shit. You're on an app where you look... You, you, dumbasses, you're going off of looks. What did you expect? What? What? What, what did you expect? What did you expect? You're on a site that goes basically completely off of looks and you're expecting them to get personality from you? Uh, of course you're not going to win. Why would you win? Uh, that, uh, what, that, that seems very obvious to me. I, why are you on dating apps? You shouldn't be there. You shouldn't. It doesn't, it doesn't benefit you at all. It does nothing but negative. Getting barely any matches and scarcely getting replies to messages. Nine, any man below a five will get zero matches for life. 10, on online dating apps, 60%- Well, that is just factually incorrect. I'm going by how there are many people who are in those positions who are, go figure, dating. Crazy, I know, weird. Uh, of likes go to the top 10% of men. 11. 80% of the matches go to the top 20%. 12. 95% of matches go to the top 50%. Therefore, 13. Just 5% of matches go to... Wow, congratulations. You just proved yourself wrong from the very next point. The, la the, the, the latter point... The, the latter five points of attraction of men do get women. Congratulations. You just... Ah, <sighs> never mind. Not even gonna fight that, because that's stupid. You're playing statistics in your... Oh, never mind. Anywho. To the bottom 50% of guys. 14. These statistics also show that looks are mostly objective. Well, no shit. There is very little room for opinion or preference. Once again, no shit. What did... What, what did... What did you expect? Attractiveness in and of itself is objective. It's a definitive term. And if you don't make it, you're not attractive. That it's a definitive word. It exists for a reason. And if you ain't there, then congratulations. You're not objectively a good looking person. Uh, uh, okay. 15. A man's money now means nothing to women as they can instead either work for themselves or rely on the government to provide resources instead. Well, I mean, not entirely true, because if that were true, then divorce rates wouldn't be primarily composed of financial problems, which is why divorce rates happen. But, I mean, what do I know on anything, I guess? 16. Any man that gets in a relationship based on his money has no real attraction from the woman. It is all fake love. 17. His only purpose... Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I yes. Is this questioned? You are you are providing a fake substance, which is money, which theoretically means actually nothing on planet Earth, because it is paper, and you're expecting to get an emotion out of paper. That sounds very dumb to me. Purpose is just to provide like money is important. But it's not going to bring an emotion. Uh, yeah, no, not, not, not directly. Indirectly, maybe, but it, it, directly money? No. 
I don't know why you would get an emotion directly out of money. Indirectly, yeah, I can understand that. Resources for her, whether it be pay for her bills, expensive dates, holidays, and so on. Eight. Yeah, that makes sense. When when you when you feed when you have cheddar, you don't get good women. You get mice or rats. Like that. That it's a pretty common saying. Makes sense. Teen. Any man that gets a relationship mainly because of his money will likely get dumped as soon as he loses his job or investments. 19. Relationship. I don't have anything really to say on that one because, I mean, sure, it, it does happen, but at the same rate, is that really then a woman you want to be in a relationship with? Someone who will just drop you off at the single moment of problem? I'd honestly at that rate if they dropped me because I, I got fired or quit or lost an investment If they decided to break up with me, then I'd be like, oh, thank you Thank you for leaving my life because I don't want that in my life Like what I, I'm not gonna complain over that at that rate. I'm gonna just move on and be like, thank God Ships based on money will likely end up as dead bedrooms the man might get intimacy twice a year on his birthday and on Christmas. 20. Confidence doesn't mean much and only helps if the man in question is already attractive. 21. This is because if an unattractive guy is confident, it is often seen as creepy or arrogant. Besides, 22. Confidence is very correlated with looks anyway. Statistically speaking, shorter, more unattractive and overweight people are more likely to get bullied in school which no surprise is going to have a negative effect on a person's confidence and self-esteem. Meanwhile, 23, attractive people are more likely to be appraised from teachers, parents, which in turn boosts their confidence. You know, I... You can actually use this point as a positive. Because... If you want to think about it, this person here, supposedly existing, uh... If they ever have a dry spell or a moment of problems, they're not going to be able to deal with it like you can if you are this kid. Yet this kid is going to be able to deal with problematic things a lot better than this kid. Because this kid has done nothing but get appraisal for doing nothing. Whereas this person has gotten nothing but uh, degradation for doing nothing. Granted, doing nothing, if they are fat, it would be their problem. But, hey, don't, don't listen to me or something. Um, but you're going to be able to deal with a lot of hardship that this person cannot. Which is where this person is most likely to have a downfall. Uh, like, uh, look at... Uh, whenever there's a... a, a uh, with an owner, like a business owner who decides to uh, transfer their position as owner over to their son or their daughter or something. You know how often those type of businesses fail within like the first year or two after the, uh, the change in ownership? They, it changes quite fast typically because that kid doesn't understand it. They don't understand hardship. They don't understand dealing with those things because they were never set up for that. They were set up like a trust fund kid. That's why a lot of trust fund kids are found at your Home Depot because they lost all their money. They did a lot of unsmart decisions with their money and then they crashed hard when they grew up. And now they're in a position that they were never in before. I, like, uh, the way I look at it, personally, growing up, I didn't have the best fam uh, family life. But, and to be fair, I'll, like, I grew up way too damn fast. But... The, ne the negative from that is I don't really have a childhood. However, the benefit from that benefit from that is that I'm like a like a fair bit of years ahead of a lot of my classmates. I am quite far in my own growth. I like that's the benefit. 
The benefit of dealing with hardship is that you learn how to deal with the hardship that other people don't understand how to deal with. You can move ahead of them uh, through those moments. Anywho. 24. On top of this, generally people tend to adopt a level of confidence based on how they look. 25. For example, how can this short guy look confident to the camera if he's standing next to this man who's way taller than Okay, so uh first things first. Let's let me let me pick this apart here. First of all, he does not have a he does not have fitting clothing. It looks like he's wearing a box on him. Uh, second thing, now granted, or no, second thing is he is holding that pose very weak. It's he's not this dude here is holding it like he He's got a strong arm pose with the with the the peace symbol. Meanwhile, this guy's got a limp a limp noodle peace symbol going on there, and he doesn't have a good angle on his arm. If he posed his arm in the same way that this dude was posing his arm, I bet you it would look a lot better. And uh, now, granted, the one thing that is really not doing him any benefits is this dude is holding his shoulder like that, which kind of looks like Dad took his child to work day. But I mean. This dude, he, 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 he doesn't look confident because he isn't confident. He doesn't look confident. He doesn't have properly fitting clothing. He doesn't have, he doesn't have confident, like, uh, he doesn't have a confident figure. I, I don't have anything to say about his face, because, I mean, his face looks fine. Uh, but he, he's posing completely different from this dude here completely different he doesn't look strong he doesn't look he's not showing any of his best features in this pose meanwhile this dude is he's got a buff shoulder he's got nice biceps nice forearms meanwhile this dude all i can understand is he's got bony fingers and a vein here that's what i get from him i i I don't see any of the pecs that this dude has because he has fit he has form fitting clothing. I just get a little bit of a V skin here. Like this dude doesn't look confident, not because he's short, but because he's not looking confident. Like I said, he looks like dad brought little uh, little Jimbo to to work day. Like he doesn't look confident because he isn't confident. Him. 26. How can this man smile with confidence when he has bad teeth? I don't have anything on that. 27. How can this man be confident in his own skin when he has severe facial acne? 28. Status also doesn't matter for these reasons. Because 29. Similar to confidence, status is also largely determined by looks. For example, 30. 58% of CEOs are over 6 foot despite them only making up 15% of the population. Additionally, 31, women tend to only care about status when they have reached settling down age. 32, university aged girls don't care much about a man's BMW if the man driving it is short, old and balding. 33, women only start caring about your personality after you're above their minimum looks threshold. 34, if you're way above a woman's minimum looks threshold, it gets to the point where you can get away with pretty much anything. And in fact, your negative personality traits can be seen as positives. See, 35... Okay, hold on. Uh, so, I mean, it's just wrong. I don't know what to say. It's just wrong. Because if this freaking portion was real, then there'd be a lot more single people... I don't know what to tell you, like, it's, I, I realize y'all want to look so poo-poo on the world nowadays, but some days you just gotta take accountability for not having an actual personality that drives with anybody. Like, the reason why personality is, irrele is irrelevant if you're five and below is because you don't have a good personality. There are many people who are below a five and have a personality and yet are still dating. Those, those people do exist. I know. Crazy, right? Weird. Shocker. I know. 
horrific. The, the horror, the shock, the horror, terrifying. And then the whole entire eight and above get away with anything. I would say that's most likely incorrect. Like, most definitely incorrect, because there's a lot of people who look really good who are in jail because they did some shitty things. Th those people do exist. I know, once again, crazy. In fact, your negative personality traits can be seen as positives. C35, an attractive man who is shy, is perceived as cute. Meanwhile, 36, an unattractive man who is shy, is seen as antisocial. 37, an attractive man who is awkward, is seen as funny or adorable. Meanwhile, 38, an unattractive man who is awkward, is seen as weird or creepy. Uh, okay, look, let's take his photo he's got here. Man's does not look good. Uh, Dude needs to do something with his facial hair. His hair has got a bowl cut going on for him. That is that is a style that died a whole minute ago. Like, he's got chapped lips. Perhaps could put some chapstick on. His facial, his, his, his skin looks pretty clear, so that's good. But he's got a lot of negatives going for him. And he's also not wearing flattering clothing like at all like the, the clothing is not it's not flattering in the slightest it's very it, it it's not it's not doing him any benefits 39 when an attractive man makes bad jokes they will be voluntarily laughed at by women as they want to impress him meanwhile 40 when an unattractive man makes good jokes they will be shunned as they will be seen as or uncalled for 41 yeah, that's completely just guesswork. I'm sorry, it 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 really is guesswork at that rate. Like, what? I, I, I can't fight feelings, I guess. So you got me. An attractive man who is intelligent is perceived as smart. Meanwhile, 42, intelligence on an unattractive man is nerdy or geeky. Those are the same goddamn things. Well, sure, I guess. There are many people who dig the nerdy or geeky. There are that, that, I, once again, crazy. I know, it does exist. Weird, shocker, I know. Who could have seen that one ever happen? But once again, they mean the same goddamn thing. So why are you making a difference? They're the same thing. 43. An attractive man with no friends is seen as a lone wolf. Meanwhile, 44, an unattractive man with no friends is seen as a friendless loser. So, that's the first 44 points. And now I've got almost half of the points out of the way. Now is a good time to press the like button and leave any thoughts you have in the comments below as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, carrying on with the rest of the points. 45, things such as grooming or improving your appearance don't amount to much and are overrated. Yeah, that's not even that's not even close to true. There's a lot of dudes who go from being unattractive, like the bull cut dude with the not very well groomed facial hair. Could bet you anything if he changed his clothing, changed his hair and did something better with his facial hair, he could look a lot better. Like I don't know I don't, I'm not even going to continue with the rest of this video. Like, I, I'm sorry. This, uh, it's just disappointing to me. How many ex you can't, you come up with a hundred excuses for why you're the godforsaken child of the universe? Like, it it it, it just I, I have no words. I have no words. Like, once again, are you unable to be better? Is it too difficult to try? Is it too difficult to attempt? Is it too difficult to continue to attempt until you achieve? You know, like people who give up don't ever achieve anything in their life because they give up. It's the people who never give up who actually achieve things in their life because they didn't give up. 
And yet here you are throwing in the towel because I guess rule 49 or whatever it was, uh, grooming does nothing. <sighs> Just, it's such a loser mentality. It's such a loser mentality. Oh, woe is me. The world is against me. I'm a five and below. There's nothing I can ever do. No woman's ever going to want me. Oh, my God. It's just, it, like... It's disappointing that we have people nowadays who actually believe in this or actually uh, live in this wasteland of a, of an ideology. But, I mean, people do exist in it. And it's, it's saddening. Because they actually believe it, which that in and of itself is saddening because it means more people are continuing on with the stupidity of that. And then, I mean, it's the same thing that every other group that has done so far. It's like they then start to blame everyone else for their problems. It's, it's like feminists complaining about men's existence for their problems on planet Earth. Like, you're... The black pill people are just complaining about women on planet Earth for the, all their problems. Oh, it's women not wanting me because I'm a five and below. Oh, it's women not wanting me because I, cause grooming does nothing. Oh, it's women not wanting me because I promise I have a personality, even though I'm still single and even though I'm on here doing this loser shit, complaining to the rest of the world about why I can't do better. It's just... I have no words. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Like, I, I, I ask, are you unable to do better? Are you unable to try and be better? Are you, you know, there's a video I watched. I think as I watched a vi video going over, like, uh, a woman going into the lives of, or, uh, talking to the black pill community and thing and there was this one dude in that video who was exercising daily he actually got girls as he mentioned in that video he was self-improving congrats to that dude actually trying to make benefit in his life instead of just complaining to the masses about his oh woe is me mentality like i don't know I'm just disappointed. That's all I have to say. I, it, it's a bunch of excuses. It's a bunch of excuses. That's all it is. I, I have no sympathy. I have none. I, I cannot find a shred of uh, sympathy within my soul for uh, people who continue to believe in these things. Because it's just excuses. Excuses, excuses, excuses. They won't ever help you. They'll just ca uh, cause you to drain further into this... Uh, black darkness, I guess you could say. Anywho, uh, if you enjoyed my commentary on this video, hit that. Or once again, freaking up my own con my own script here. Uh, if you uh, agreed or disagreed, go and find yourself in the comments and. Uh, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video and perhaps join the bread box as well. And I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good one.